here I've got a combination lock where you put in the right code, whatever the right code might be, and then push the sleeve open to open it. This isn't the right code, but I'm just going to show you how I go about opening it. Note that if the code really was like 1234, for example, it doesn't matter which order that you press the buttons in. It could be 3, 4, 1, 2, and it would still be the right combination. So because the order doesn't matter, then there are less combinations. Uh, there's only eight numbers, and so you can actually go through and try every single four digit combination there is because there are only 70 of them because it doesn't matter which order you do it in for example I could press one two three four see if it opens it doesn't try the next number one two three five see if it opens one two three six see if it opens etc etc trying all the combinations, all the 70 combinations. I timed myself and went through every combination and it was it took me about five minutes to go through all the combinations. You might get lucky or you might not, but on average it will take about two and a half minutes to pick one of these locks in that method. Is there a faster way? Yes, there is. What I'll do is push the lever over and then tension the shackle. Now I don't need to push this lever over when I enter the right combination because I've tensioned the shackle the lever doesn't come back properly. As soon as I enter in the right combination it will open. I need to keep tension on the shackle though. So what I do is I go through all the numbers see which ones, which one seems to really click into place. Okay, pressing 7, you heard that big click. So I go through all the numbers again, I still not releasing tension. Another big click, so that's two of the numbers. I go through all the numbers again. Another big click. Go through all the numbers again and the lock's open. Okay, so that's a lot quicker than two and a half minutes. It's not a very secure lock and I wouldn't lock up my valuables with this lock.